Canelo Alvarez and Gennady Golovkin are set to square off for a third time on Saturday in what will likely be the final time the two great rivals meet in the ring. When you have two of the best fighters of their generation locking horns, not once, not twice, but three times. The pair first clashed in September 2017, fighting to a split draw. This is officially a draw! In the rematch a year later, Alvarez edged out Golovkin on two of the three scorecards to earn a majority decision win. The trilogy fight is presumably the final opportunity for the 40-year-old Golovkin to take down his bitter rival. I think it is the biggest day for boxing right now, you know, biggest gift for you, for fans, guys. Alvarez is returning to super middleweight after losing to Dimitri Bivol in May in a light heavyweight championship fight. Really motivated to be here. Obviously, the defeat hurt, but you know, we're back on the path to greatness. Golovkin has fought and won four times since his second bout against Canelo. He has won three of them by stoppage, the most recent a ninth round TKO win over Ryoto Murata at middleweight in April. Will Canelo end off Golovkin and retain his undisputed super middleweight crown? avoiding a second straight defeat in 2022. And I've got really tough rival in front of me, a strong, intelligent opponent, but that will be my aim on Saturday night. Or will the 40-year-old Triple G come up with something big and shock a lot of observers? The way Juan Manuel Marquez did in his fourth fight with Manny Pacquiao in 2012. Canelo Alvarez's ring resume isn't quite pristine. He's been a professional boxer for more than half his life, with precisely two losses in 61 fights. The first blemish came nearly nine years ago against imminent Hall of Famer Floyd Mayweather Jr. and is largely pardoned these days as simply too much, too soon for a 22-year-old kid. And the second came this May, when he was outboxed, outslugged and comprehensively outworked by a big, talented and determined light heavyweight in Dimitri Bivol. I love uh, uh, trying other Degree. things. Golovkin, on the other hand, has fought just once since December 2020, defeating Ryoto Murata by 9th round TKO in April. However, the 40-year-old is 4-0 in total since the majority decision loss to Canelo in 2018, which remains the only defeat on Golovkin's record. Typically, the third fight of any trilogy tends to be the least interesting of the three on paper and is driven more by financial motivation than anything else. At best, it's a rubber match, a decider, the opportunity to establish once and for all the pecking order of two fighters who have previously split two fights. They don't like each other, they're bitter rivals. In the case of Canelo Alvarez and Gennady Golovkin, the third fight of their trilogy rests, at this point, somewhere in the middle. Trilogy is a completely different story. Mm. I hope like same like a first and second fight, like a big, nice, beautiful fight. They have been here before, twice, and tried to get to the bottom of what it is that festers between them. But, alas, both times the fights ended up leaving more questions than answers. Two Superman, Canelo Alvarez and Gennady Golovkin, are dealing with the possibility that they might be mortal after all. I think Triple G wants to prove to everybody that the other two fights could have easily been his way. Alvarez is coming off a loss, his first in nine years, while Golovkin is getting to grips with his forties and the most inevitable of all human conditions, getting old. 
Therefore, it's easy to come to the conclusion that Canelo will not only win part 3, he will do so convincingly, particularly in a division where he has looked such a redoubtable competitor. He's been a tremendous champion, he's a great fighter, I think there's still plenty more fights for him. Both fighters have tremendous chins and neither has been down or stopped as a professional. Golovkin, in fact, still maintains that he has yet to have been even buzzed once despite closing in on 400 combined amateur and professional fights. 12 years I still champion 160, you know, just I have a belt right now, I have a three belts in 160. Still, most believe he will need to lean hard into his superpower in order to have a shot at upsetting his more fresher foe. I like my age, you know, I like my experience, my life experience, I like what I have right now. Therefore, we expect Alvarez to win a fight far more competitive than many are expecting, but to win a fight without controversy that is less competitive than the first two. Will Canelo end off Golovkin and retain his undisputed super middleweight crown, avoiding a second straight defeat in 2022? If you're really a boxing fan, you know who is the real champion. Or will the 40-year-old Triple G come up with something big and shock a lot of observers? The way Juan Manuel Marquez did in his fourth fight with Manny Pacquiao in 2012. This guy is ready for battle. And Canelo, you saw the shadow boxing after that. He's ready to explode.